got bunions, might not do that pointy toe thing. Cause Good morning, my lovely beauties. How we doing? How we feeling? It's Tuesday morning. It's December the 3rd and I was rolling along to work so peacefully and everything was so beautiful and I was thinking I'm gonna get to work just a little bit earlier than my early and then this happened. So I'm up on the bridge. I don't know how well you all can see this. Hopefully you can. I tried to zoom the camera in a little bit, but then the sun is doing some fierce stuff. So I don't know what you can see. I'm just trying to do this the best that I can. But y'all, can y'all see what's going on? I'm like, what? Like, I'm like, what is this? Like, seriously, like, look at what is in front of us. So I've been on this bridge now for a little bit of time. And the bridge is not that long and I haven't gone anywhere. I'm like, really, like, look at this. Everybody's just kind of coasting along. I mean, there's cars everywhere, so I'm assuming that there's been an accident. But I was doing so well. I get so, like, I don't know. Like, I just really want my downtime in the mornings. And so this just was upsetting to me. And I just felt like pulling out the camera and sharing it with y'all. So, yeah not fun y'all not fun. this is serious business serious business y'all okay so I just showed y'all what was happening I still have no idea I guess once I figure out what's happening I'll let you guys know but I'm gonna say it's probably safe to say there's some form of an accident up ahead because it's in all directions and we're all coming off of different highways trying to merge onto one highway so it's just a living nightmare which is the norm so anyway so we'll chat for just a few minutes since I brought you guys along for this ride um, a little extra footage shall I say you know just to make you guys feel loved <laughs> um, I apologize again for the glare because I know my face is probably really really lit up right about now with the Sun and you probably can't see me very well but um, just for the record I am wearing my Ray-Ban sunglasses I, I pull these out every now and then these are like so special to me I love them so much um, they're just a fan fave and then today y'all so I pulled out Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation love that foundation I will say though it definitely do a very ugly flashback like ugly flashback whenever I look at pictures um, during the time when I was wearing this foundation faithfully like every day because it was like my holy grail um, y'all Every picture that I took, I would look at the picture and I would see like I was ghostly. Like I was so ghostly. But I kept wearing the foundation because I love it. And then I just finally just got frustrated because I had taken some pictures one time and I wanted them to be really good. And I, I just felt like, oh my God, this is the most horrible foundation for pictures. And so I kind of like, at that point I stopped wearing it when I knew I would want to take a picture of some sort which is kind of like almost always because, you know, I'm very conceited and I love myself so much that I take selfies 24-7. <laughs> Whatever. But no, but seriously, I did stop wearing it for a while. And it's a foundation that every single time I wear it, I get the most beautiful compliments about my skin because it does complement my skin very well if you're just looking at it. Now, we'll say this, though. It turns darker the older the foundation gets inside the bottle so I put it on this morning and I kind of knew that and but then I didn't like a heed to my thought process like I was just like I'm good and um, when I got in my car just now or about an hour ago <laughs> actually over an hour ago I was like mmm it is dark <laughs> So I feel like right now my face look a lot darker than my neck, which it does. I don't know. You probably can't tell because we're in the serious glow situation. My foundation is extremely darker than my neck area, which we just going to go with that today because I can't do anything about it at this point. Um, I did use my Laura Mercier Glow Powder. Um, I think it's a setting powder that's a glow powder. I'm not, I need to look to see what the actual name of that when is. I was out with Terry on Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, the BX was having 25% off of all of their gift sets. And I 
have been on the quest as you all know to find a setting powder that was or a powder I should say not I don't know if I wanted to call it a setting powder but just a powder in general that reminded me of that one cover girl one that I have because it had like glowness to it like I, I think it was really a bronzer but I liked it over my face because the coloring matched my skin so well so Laura Mercier has like this glow powder that came out I don't know whenever it came out but anyway so they had a gift set um, had it 25% off um, which made it a very good price because it was already cheaper um, and it was a full-size bottle and it was already cheaper than what you pay for it you know out on the economy like you know regular price not on the base and then it was 25% off and you got a brush now I don't have I haven't used a brush yet but I have pulled out the powder and I kind of mix it in with my foundation like I well I put my foundation on and then I dust the powder in and I mixed it with my Estee Lauder mineral powder. So I, get, like, I have like this massive combination on my face. But I used the Estee Lauder darker powder, which probably wasn't a good idea because I have two shades of that. I have a the, full, the number four and the number five. The number four is a lighter shade and the number five is a darker shade. Obvious, you know, four comes before five. But I probably should have just used four for today because the powder itself has a little bit of bronzeness going on to it so yeah so anyway hence why I have you know a little bit of a darker complexion today but that's okay I'm still beautiful okay are we really finally starting to move like what the hay happened I don't even see anything y'all see this is when I get mad because I don't even see anything at this point so then I think was all this for nothing <laughs> like why I don't know but anyway so we're moving I don't know how much faster I'm like at 804 now people y'all are interfering with my parking time I don't like that <laughs> I get really upset when I don't have my me time in the morning because y'all I need to decompress from the drive-in and it's very important to me and when I don't have that time I get angry I might even get hangry this morning because all of a sudden I felt a little growl in my tum tum so anyway all of this stuff being said this morning I'm just explaining why my face looks darker that you guys can't even see that my face is darker but to still give a shout out to Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation because I absolutely love that foundation and also give a shout out to Laura Mercier glow something powder that I'll tell you guys the real name of it somewhere in this video probably in the description bar if I don't um, get it across here so y'all remember to always read my description bars because sometimes the girl be in a hurry <laughs> and I don't get these things done you know what I'm saying so and sometimes I don't even get them in the description bar which then I really get upset with myself because I'm trying to do better y'all I'm really am. just wanted to shout out a few couple of products there that I like so much but yeah and I'm um, oh y'all I'm wearing my TJ Maxx find Okay, yep, here we go, here we go now, here we go now, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Stopping, that is. We're not going, we're stopping. But um, I have on my TJ Maxx Fine, y'all, which this is by Free People. And again, this is another one of those when I went to Florida outfits. But today I have it on with my over-the-knee boots. Girl trying to be a little sexy. Not really, because this dress is like an oversized, like big old you know, moo moo tile style dress, so <laughs> ain't gonna be sexy in it, but I am showing a little bit of leg underneath my dress and above my over the knee boots, which I happen to love these boots. And by the way, I'm gonna say it again, because I think I said it in my vlog, but I'm gonna say it again. Y'all, these boots that I'm wearing, I know y'all can't see them, but we, may, we might get a chance to show them to y'all today. These boots that I'm wearing, perfect for us over 50 folks when I tell y'all they're perfect because the heel is just right and it's got a little pointy toe going on to it now if you got bunions you might not do that pointy toe thing because y'all know bunions come with age but bunions don't just come with age bunions can come when you're 25 but you know most of the time when by the time you reach in your 50s if you're gonna have a bunion you already got a bunion you know what I'm saying so might not be bunion friendly <laughs> but as far as you know being easier on the knees and whatnot yeah it's totally friendly so all right y'all I am gonna get off now because I don't want this video to be super long because I do want to get it up 
sometime another, like real soon, like maybe tomorrow. All right, y'all. I will chat with y'all a little bit later. Okay. I know y'all really can't see me right now. And I'm probably, it, my eyes actually look like, I don't know, like they look really weird because there's like a glare like right in here. But y'all, I made it here. It's actually 817 and I did get a parking spot. But see, this is why I get stressed out in the mornings. But it's all good. Um, yeah, so I am going to put on some mascara right now because I was, I at least try to get out of my house by a certain time. And I wasn't able to get my mascara on this morning and feel comfortable at leaving at the right time. So anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later.